One year on, policing crime commissioners across the UK are celebrating the anniversary since the first election, but some individuals are questioning whether it will be the last. In response to negative comments, Home Secretary Theresa May has admitted problems with the model, with one police and crime commissioner speaking out against the benefits of the role. I would think on the whole things we've seen a, a slight movement uh, backwards in terms of uh, key uh, achievements of the role and I've done a, a detailed analysis. In terms of Theresa May's um, concept of the fact that uh, she believes the only thing you should judge is whether you reduce crime or not, we've seen three decades of ever reducing crime grind to a halt with a majority of uh, police forces are showing increases in crime. Bob Jones's school report analysis has labelled a few key problems with the current system. He gives a 3 out of 10 for reducing crime, a low 2 out of 10 for public confidence, and overall he gives a 4 out of 10, stating that £100 million has been spent on making the police force less accountable. With around 40 police and crime commissioners across the UK, our focus now turns to Hampshire's representative, Simon Hayes, who has labelled Jones's school report as a one-size-fits-all methodology that doesn't show where good practice exists. So reflected, I think, uh, his, his, his bias against the role. Um, I mean, he's been speaking out against the role of police and crime commissioners for um, you know a couple of years. I don't share that view, um, and certainly, I think what we're beginning to do in Hampshire after the first year is to actually show that there is a value in police and crime commissioners. Simon goes on to explain in detail how the role has been implemented in Hampshire, and we will hear more from him next week. Matt Spencer, Winchester News Online, Birmingham.